Put your hand off my penis! This is the bike who got me on the penis, people. The man you just saw in that video getting arrested from 1991 is Cecil George Edwards, or is it? Now, um, he goes by many aliases apparently, and he was mistakenly arrested back in 1991. But the video has since gone viral, and I do want to show you more from this arrest. I'm under arrest. Look, I'm under what? Gentlemen, this is Democracy Manifest. Have a look at the headlock here. See that chap over there? Get your hand off my penis! This is the bike who got me on the penis before. Get some cups. Why did you do this? Get some cups. For what reason? What is the charge? Eating a meal? A succulent Chinese meal? Oh, that's a nice headlock, sir. Oh, uh, yes. I see that you know your judo well. Good one. And you, sir, are you waiting to receive my limp penis? How dare get your hands off me? <laughs> Who refers to a meal as a succulent one? Yeah, it, this guy does for uh, interesting reasons. So we covered this on Old School, and if you remember, you might have seen it already. A succulent yeah. Chinese meal? Yeah, it's and, so good. And on old school, I thought he was saying succulent Chinese male. And I'm like, well, if you enjoyed that, depending on the age, that might be why you're getting arrested. Different strokes uh, for different folks, I yeah. guess. Yeah. A but, succulent Chinese male. Okay, so thank God it's meal, meal. Uh, and there's a reason why he's saying that. This is a, it turns out it's a super complicated story. It's so comp, look, it's <laughs> okay. so complicated, guys. Like, I, I wanted to talk about this in, in our members only bonus episode because it's fun. And then I'm like, I want to understand what's also going on here. So I started reading about it, but it was so confusing that I just gave up. Okay. But apparently, you have done your due diligence. I did because yeah. I'm old school, just goofing around about it, and I want to goof around about it more. Don't get me wrong. It's Freaking hilarious, every part of it, right? And I think I might have called him a professor, and we have been saying wrongly arrested. It turns out not at all a professor, okay? Yeah. Although it sounded professorial, if you ask me. And it turns out not wrongly arrested, okay? What? The wrong part of the story was at the time, back in 91, they reported as he was one of the most wanted men in Australia, and the police got him. It turns out that was wrong. He was not. One of the most wanted men in Australia. But it turns out maybe he should have been because he was a prison escape specialist. That's true. That's true. I read that, but I didn't know if it was true. And, it, and he can't. So, look, so this guy gets arrested in 91. Wow. No one, uh, ever, like, they, they, that video exists, but back then there's like uh, no internet really. And so it doesn't go viral. Nobody knows about it. The video gets put online in 2009, then goes viral. Yes. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. And it, and like they report as everyone in Australia knows that democracy is manifest and that Chinese meals are succulent. Okay. I don't know literally everyone in Australia <laughs> knows, but it becomes super famous. So in 2020, the guy surfaces for the first time. Yes, in a music video. Yeah. And then there's documentary and he gets interviewed. Yeah. And that's partly how we found out the real story. Okay, so before you give us more details, I do want to go to just a snippet from one of those interviews, okay? okay because um, he discusses like this weird guy who followed him into the restaurant. So the restaurant, by the way, where he was uh, consuming the succulent Chinese meal <laughs> uh, was Fortitude Valley Restaurant. Okay, he notices that there's like a weird, strange guy staring at him, and you'll understand why in this video. An American Express investigator followed a man he thought was one of Queensland's most wanted to a valley restaurant. There was a suspicious looking character at a couple of tables away looking at us, and every time I'd turn, he'd put his head down and pop a dim sim into his gob. Minutes later, police had the business surrounded, then sent in a delegation. The police fell on the place. Come running in, even one of them had a gun in his hand, and I said, what the devil's going on here? 
I mean, come, like, yeah. He doesn't really talk like that. Come on. I think he does. That's why oh it's God. so fun. So well, the battle is going on. Yeah. So an investigator with American Express suspects that he's the guy who's stealing all these credit cards. So he follows him into the restaurant. He's keeping his eye on him. Um, but Edwards, if that's his real name, um, notices him staring and is like super suspicious. Like, what's going on here? And then eventually he gets arrested. But it turns out that you know the cops thought they had the wrong guy. But you're right, Jenk. I had read that he was like a master at escaping. Yeah. In prison. fact, the reason why he did what he did was to escape. So let me explain. Oh my god. So it, it turns out he's a dine and dash specialist. Okay. Oh my god. So he'll eat a meal and then he'll just walk out. Okay. <laughs> and but the guy who spotted him had the wrong guy. He thought he was the one of the most wanted men in Australia, which he isn't, right? He's just a different criminal, right? So, but what does he do? I, look, I don't know if the cops in that particular case got there before he left the restaurant or if he was like, oh, that guy was looking at me weird. Good excuse to leave the restaurant without paying, right? And the cops get a hold of him. That's why he's like, what's wrong with enjoying a succulent Chinese meal? Because that's kind of what he says if he, whenever he's busted on, on running away from not paying the bill. Okay. Oh, wow. That's okay. because that's his specialty. So then eventually, through all these different documentaries and interviews, they figure out that the reason he was making such a scene is because he wanted to be put in a mental asylum rather than jail, because it would be easier to escape from an asylum than from prison. Okay. And Genius. that's why he did what he did. Genius. Okay, well, now get a load of this. This story is twist after twist. You Australians, you nailed it on this one. This one was fun, okay? Definitely. Yeah, so uh, so it, he, they arrest him for this, wrong arrest, right? But it's okay, they give him bail. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He runs out on the bail because he's wanted on other stuff. And they never find him. So when he resurfaced in 2020, the police were like, Oh, that's where he is, okay? Because <laughs> he escaped from all those prisons and wow. he'd run out on bail in that particular incident. Incident, and they'd never seen him since. Wow. Okay. You you really did a deep dive on this. Oh, one. look, man, I, we we take the news seriously. You here. really know your judo well. <laughs> I do, I do. Uh, it, yes, I see that you know your judo well. <laughs> you know. Well, okay. <laughs> and uh, at the very end of that clip, he goes as he's uh, leaving or is being stuffed into the car. He goes, "Ta ta!" And I also want to do this story to correct him. It's Tata. Ta ta! <laughs> That's wow. a super old school reference, of course, for you young Turks, long long time viewers. You know, I interviewed uh, Colonel Tata, and, yes. I, and I called him Colonel Tata. <laughs> Yes, you did. You did. Um, it's amazing because I, I did watch a bunch of the interviews that he did, and he has like this, like this side hustle of like painting. So in every interview, he would like direct the interviewer to his paintings and like show them off, and they were like awful, like some of the worst <laughs> paintings I've ever seen. They weren't succulent. No, no, nothing succulent <laughs> about those paintings. But oh, there you know, they are in the back. There they are. Oh, those I, are the of that particular oh, arrest. Actually, those are not that bad. Now okay. that I, oh, oh, interesting. Okay. Okay. You know, I, I feel like Doseki should use him as the most interesting man in the, in the world. Yeah, and and except he'd drink the beer and then run out. And run out. He wouldn't even pay for it. Yep. <laughs> and by the way, we say it might be his name because he has a lot of different aliases. So, yes. So we we don't know what his real name is, but if if he had a name, it would be Cecil George Edwards. He's the most interesting man in the world. <laughs> Thanks for watching The Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.